White bean bolognese, take one. You have to do it with the carrots. White Clap. bean bolognese, take two. Hi everyone, welcome back. I am still Molly Boss, and this is my brother, Adam Boss. Yep. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and Adam is... <laughs> um, let's see. Do you want me to leave What's for this? What's something nice I can say about him? <laughs> Adam is one of my best friends. He's really good with birds. He's a really good dog dad. He takes care of my car when I need it. Feels like there's a butt coming. There's a butt coming. <laughs> Adam does not know how to cook. And his girlfriend, Sam, does all the cooking. Sam? Sam cooks for Adam. And so today we're gonna to teach Adam how to make a simple pasta so that he can contribute a little to their household. <laughs> so me and Sam <laughs> convened <laughs> yeah. and we decided that this would be really good. There's an ulterior motive here. <laughs> so we're making bolognese and it's a white bean bolognese, meaning that it's vegetarian. I thought this would be a good one I for you. I do like vegetables. Do you want an apron? No, I'm okay. Should we put them in a little dress? <laughs> <laughs> what color do you want? Oh no. You have real tree camo? Um, okay, let's see. I really have to wear one of these? I'm not gonna do anything. Oh, I'm just gonna watch you. Than mine. Are you kidding? You're fucking chopping, you're, you're sweating, amazing. you're doing all this stuff. Okay, so this is a vegetarian bolognese, which means. <laughs> yeah, you don't have right, to. I'm not wearing this. <laughs> it no does, offense, honestly, it doesn't no look right. To your signature apron, but. Yeah, she's Louise. So, what we need for this recipe is one yellow onion, two, what are these? Fennel. No. Fennel sticks. No. <laughs> Fennel sticks. <laughs> Why didn't you describe the two most bland ve vegetables as aromatics? Don't hate on celery. I'm not hating Agree, on it. Agree, fucking carrots are whack, but. No, like, carrots are incredible. This is a classic trifecta, these three, of, called mirepoix. Okay. And we're adding fennel to it because we fuck with fennel in this household. Grab yourself a cutting board. Which ones would you like to chop? Anything but the onion. Okay, so I'll chop the onion. Why don't you chop the celery and carrots? Okay. What we do is we cut through the root end. Ooh. We peel all the papery skins back. Just so you know, you're going for like a fine, a fine dice. Cut these into like manageable chunks and then cut these chunks into planks. Okay. And then you can stack the planks and cut them this way into sticks and then you can turn the sticks and cut across and that'll make you tiny little dicings. Do you feel like you can do that? I think I can figure that out. Okay. The onion is cut side down on the cutting board. Wait, how do I, I cut it in half first? No, cut it in planks. Planks this way? Yeah. Okay. Planks. Yeah, you're killing All it. All right, I got it. I figured it out. Onion chopping all the way to the root end but not through the root end because we want to keep the onion intact. We're working our way up the onion. Now we turn it this way and we come across and make down towards the cutting board. And then you turn it again and you come across this way. The onion falls into a dice. How are we doing over here? Oh, gorgeous. It's going, it's going, but it's going slow. Yeah, that's okay. It's your first time in the kitchen. And we treat a fennel the same way that we treat an onion making those same perpendicular parallel cuts all the way up it. And that's how you dice a fennel. I do believe that if you just put like one modicum of effort into cooking, Adam, mm -hmm. you could be a great cook. Thank you for having some hope and faith in me. What else can we tell them about you, Ad? He has a dog named Una. She was named after Tuna. She's really trying. an inspiration, Tuna, <laughs> to all of us. All right, I think I got through the carrots. Perfect. Same with the celery. Make them nice and small. Okay, wow, look at all this veg. So much veg. So I thought, doesn't bolognese usually have beef in it or no? Yeah, remember that part in the beginning where I was like, this is a vegetarian version? Because I want the world to know that you can make a delicious, meatless, vegetarian bolognese. Like I cook my meatful bolognese in milk and we're gonna cook this in milk as well. I'm just slicing this garlic here. I just did that without telling you guys, but. I'm already bored, honestly. Crush it, really? Oh, I've been cutting vegetables for like 15 minutes. What's boring about this? Check that out, look at that pile. Okay, so a few gloves of olive oil and we're over medium heat. And the garlic, like everything, everything. Okay, All right. so that's in. I'm gonna put a bay leaf in here. Yeah! Okay, take it down. 
Okay, big pinch of salt. You always wanna season at the beginning because it helps to leach the water out and helps to get it cooking. And also that way the vegetables are seasoned through and through. And then we're just gonna let this go. Um, sweat it out. It's sweating. Do you see how it looks sweaty? Yeah. The more you cook this veg down, the more flavorful this bolo will be, so. Now we wait. Now we wait. Okay, do you want to drain those and rinse them? So I shouldn't have thrown away the tops? No, you can. You'll rinse them through a fine mesh strainer. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Did I rinse these enough or how oh, rinse? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I've been rinsing over here. Yeah, that sounds good. Good. Our vegetables have cooked down some. Let me try a crunch. Try a crunch. That's way too crunchy. Yeah, mom and dad are gonna freak when they see this. Should we not tell them we're doing it? I actually got a specific request from mom to send photos. So it's for mom. Wholesome content for the whole fam. I feel pretty good. Do you think the crunch has been reduced? I don't know, take a bite. The celery's got a little crunch still. So the next thing we're gonna do, add, is add tomato paste. We're gonna add a quarter cup of tomato paste. I'm opening. Let me, let me. <laughs> I told you, he's handy. Stay, he's good stay with Stay in your tools. lane over there. He's good with tools and stuff. <laughs> Just snuggled up next to his flume. That's really cute. He's gonna love that. Throw it in. Okay, so, so what you do is you incorporate it into the vegetables and you continue to cook them down and the tomato paste will start to caramelize in the pot and then it like starts to get good. Do you know what deglazing is? Does it involve adding white wine? <laughs> yeah. See that yummy stuff, and that's called fond. Deglazing is adding a liquid to a pot when it's really hot and then scraping the bottom of the pot with your spatula or your spoon and the liquid helps to release the bits. Okay. Should we add some wine? We got all of that stuff up and now it's in our vegetable aromatic base. Okay, and now we're gonna add our beans. So two cans of white beans. Some of them can definitely break apart. Okay, so white beans, this looks great. White beans are in here, and now we're adding... Some milk. Some milk, because we're not sure how much, because we can't remember. Um, and then Adam, can you find the red pepper flakes? Because I want to make this a little bit spicy, so in I'm gonna here? add them. Yeah. Red pepper flakes. They're here, gonna... that chili, that single origin chili will do. Okay, and then we just let this simmer. We're gonna cover it. What's your favorite uh, noodle here? I like kind of like a thick and hollow, like a penne. You're just trying to push my buttons. Why, you don't like penne? Penne is my least favorite. What, why? It's, it's the best. It's the worst. It's got a pop, because you get through like the, the first pasta. I layer. don't have penne. <laughs> right, these look fun. For bolognese? I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I don't think we should do these. <laughs> okay. We've got a nice, long, slow simmered stew. I'm just gonna season the pasta water. <laughs> we get it, your arms are long. We get it, you love salt. Pasta of choice is going in. Now for Molly would normally recommend a penne for this. Yeah, this is But we're gonna make do with what we have here. Give it a stir. Okay, and then I'm gonna get out all the finishing elements. Parsley, butter. I like butter. Is the parm already out? Unsalted butter, huh? Yeah, you eat salted butter? I'm surprised you don't. Some more salt is always no, better. No, I like to add my salt fresh. You're the master of your own salt. I'm the salt. master. Okay, but where the frick is the... Here it is. Pick like a couple big handfuls, or the whole thing, whatever, of parsley leaves. Okay. And then we're gonna finely chop that. Oh, I love finely chopping things. And then the other thing we need is lemons. So like, yep, hold it together, and then, yep. Is that about right? Oh, be careful of your fingies. Yeah, you're killing it, dude. Hi, honey. That's for finishing or we dump it in? That's for finishing. Hold on, just feeding tuna. Good girl, Lee. Stay. Stay. Okay. That is a trained weenie. I don't usually like to drain my pasta. I use a little with holes in it, AKA a spider. A spider? That's what this is. Get me two tablespoons of butter, Ad. 
Yes, chef. Behind. <laughs> Where do you want me to put it, chef? Yeah, put it. <laughs> All right, we're 86 on butter. <laughs> I'm gonna scoop out some pasta water here, just so that we have something to work with. We work, 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 work. See how it, when you drag the spoon, it closes. it closes in on itself because it's too saucy. It can't help itself with the close. That's kind of it. Look how gorgeous. It's beautiful. Do you want to taste it and adjust it as you see fit? Sure. Can you please keep your hand under it, just in case? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, let's serve it up. Do you want a full bowl of pasta right now? <laughs> Load me up. Top, I want That's like- That's the energy, my dude. Brimming. We'll just do one bowl and then we'll share it. It's not very tomatoey. No, but bolognese often only will have tomato paste, or it will have. Is this considered on, a tomato sauce? It's like a vegetable ragu. I mean, the veggies do have like a meatiness. Can I eat a bite? It's very saucy. We like a saucy pasta in this household. Sauce There's some fennel sticks. I, they're chopped up though. They're fennel nice. Sticks. You don't want to put a whole. You never want to eat the whole fennel. A whole fennel stick. No it's too much. 